Hello everyone and welcome to a new episode of Let's Play Conquest of Weaselands. Last time we died a really pathetic death due to do two dingles, which was quite surprising. I didn't think that was even possible, but uh, I guess that, that goes to show how much I know about this game. <coughs> I also have a bunch of achievements over here that I never really noticed and we can... Uh, or maybe I didn't notice but I forgot about. We got some stuff that we need to unlock. Hit the Balmer Peak Master but the Berserk Skill Tree. Kill a Monster Zoo, all of it. Play both the male and the female hero. Master the Blue, blah blah blah. There's a lot of stuff over here. Okay, let's just start. So the last time we played with Great Evil 11, so this time around we should play as Great Evil 12, I guess. Let's do that. So randomize. We get daggers. Daggers, they aren't just small swords anymore. Necronomicanomics. Necronomicanomics, the economy of the undead. Magic training. Yields of wizard school has made your spells and use of mana more effective. Blood Mage, you, you regain magic points by killing things. Every time you kill something, you regain some mana. Tinkering, you can create new devices, especially traps out of gears, mechanical pelts, and other rubbish. Communist, workers unite. And tourist, let's do this. Great. Evil. 12. Let's do this, baby. So we've got three skill sets. We've got Deathly Hex, Blast Your Enemies to Necromantic ab ab Ablution with the Bolt of Evil and Sap Their Life Force if you're powerful enough. Be careful though, use of this spell may cur make curses the caster with nerve searing, pain wracking and death fingers. Then we've got Luchnauer's Switcheroo, pull the old Umkerung on an adjacent opponent, switching places with them while sneaking in an extra dagger attack. And finally we have a, 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 a guerrilla attack, popular front to be sneak attacking imperialists, then is disappearing before cut. And we have a uh, muscle of cocktail, a vodka, a camera. A sewer blue, an aged blue cheese, a cheese round, and finally we have sacrificial dagger, tinkerer parts, disposable ingot press, modular alchemy box, rust, empty flask, sickle, and hammer. Okay, let's get this started. <coughs> so let's take a hyperborean potion. This potion crackles coolly from time to time. Moisture condenses on the flask. Let's start with the left side of the dungeon as usual. Lobster main fungus. I'm not interested in that. Let's just destroy the statue of Dreadmore. Heroic vandalism. Let's drink from this fountain. You feel defended. We get armoring. Your skin hardens like iron around your body, yet still bends like flesh. You are magically armored. Getting hit repeatedly will cause this spell to lose its effect. Okay, Dr. Sanin's new style piercer, sure. We get a cheese round and the brie cheese. Let's open this. We get adventurer's gloves. Wearing these help avoid unsightly adventuring calluses. I guess we might as well wear these. Might as well. The chest is locked. Bash it open? No. Don't bash anything open. Wand of Bling. The power of Bling is not a power to be taken lightly. What the fuck is this thing? Can I use it? I guess I can. This didn't do anything apparently. Not on the chest anyway. Nine charges left though. 
Oh, another statue of Dreadmore. Interesting. We get a bolus. Try explaining this to the customs officer. Oh shit, there was a trap over there, wasn't there? Anti magic field. Well, whatever. Traffic cone, not interested in it. Pull lever, sure. You hear the sounds of machinery. Malachite, might as well take it. What the fuck is this? Aged cheese. Gold ingot, I might as well take it up. Little black book. It's filled with quotations from Lord Dreadmore. Can I use this thing? It doesn't look like I can. Mini Gouda cheese. Oh, I want that. Potion of lively regeneration. Sure, why not? Chest is locked. No, don't bash it open. self ceiling stem bolt. I don't think I really care about that that much. Although, maybe it will be useful. I don't know. Let's put it in our inventory. Grog, might as well. Crossbow, not interested in it. Let's go... Uh, wait, wait, what's over here first? Siegfried, trapped in legal form, he wanders the dungeon looking for revenge. This monster has not no noticed your presence. Let's use our wand on it. It is lightly injured. This monster is trying to kill you. Man, I'm not doing that much damage with the dagger, honestly speaking. Look how much damage a single, a single uh, deagle is doing to me. You may need to, know, to learn more of the of some of, of this stuff. You can learn a nightly curse. The dreaded Shobastia nightmare curse causes your enemies to fall into a blissful slumber. Meanwhile, their brains are beset by old rich things who cunningly replace their internal think meats with the bees of evil. Man, that's a lie and a half right there. Caution, exposure to bees of evil may prove to have toxic side effects to the caster. I don't know, that sounds fun. Let's, uh, let's use this. Okay, so we took some damage. Let's eat the cheese to slowly re regen our health. Native gold. Interesting. Damn, I'm taking a lot of damage. Like, why am I doing so such little damage? I don't get that. Oh no, I died from a trap. Oh, fuck me. You have died. Great Evil 12 has died. The mid-afternoon's queen killed by a Tesla mine. Well, that didn't last that long. But we did get 600 points, though. You know what? I'm not satisfied with that run. Let's go with another one. Okay, we get Berserker Rage. As you attack or are yourself attacked, your Berserk Rage increases your fighting power. Necronom Economics, the economy of the undead. Blood Mage. Killer Vegan, the power of clean living, moral superiority, and Gluten Magic. Battle Geology. Oh, this is a new one. Like all geologists, you can create earthquakes, armor yourself in stone, and petrify enemies. Can, can geologists actually do that? Bankster, there's nothing an adventurer can face with a bunch of derivatives, a, a diversified stock portfolio, and absolutely no morals whatsoever. And paranormal investigator, the truth is in here somewhere. Great, evil, 14. Let's do this. So we start out with some uh, stuff. But nothing that's particularly incredible for us. Plutonic Fist, you can at will transform the hand, a noodly appendage of a creature, including yourself if thus inclined, into stones such as that cured deep in the earth's, her earth, the earth's earthy heart. Melee power is improved at the cost of combat skill and finesse. He's smart like rock. <laughs> okay, I'm liking this so far. 
Crude Iron Mace. Do we need this? I don't... What was our skill set ag again? So Berserker Rage, Necronomicanomics, Blood Mage, Killer Vegan... And we don't have any affinity for any particular weapon type, which is quite sad. Okay, Ping Jala, the immeasurable statue. It's a sword. This is just a shard of glass awkwardly wrapped up in some string. Don't drop it. It is studded with Damascus steel. I want that. How do I get to that? Okay, we can already descend into the, uh, onto the next floor, which I do not want to do yet. Can we... Let's use this with the ablution thingy. Did it do anything? I'm not seeing anything happening. This master is asleep. Is this master also asleep? It is peaceful and is attacking you at the moment. All of these are peaceful. Oh shit, I just took damage from traps. That's unfortunate. Barrel, emerald, might as well use this in our inventory. Black powder region. This is a handful of fun just waiting to happen. I'm not interested in regions at this point. Your mother was a radish. Fuck you. Take that. You bitch. Nothing particularly relevant happened. Can I get to this fountain somehow? Doesn't look like it. Oh, yes, I can. Can I drink from it? Drink. Your mind overflows with dark thoughts. The hell is this? Dire empowerment. You are infused with the power of dark magics, which grant unnatural strength and necromatic energies. Ooh, that sounds cool. Fell truffle, mushroom. No, I'm not interested in mushrooms. Let's go south. These things attack me. It is a peaceful and not attacking you at the moment. Why is nobody attacking me? Is it because I'm a vegan? Oh shit. Oh god damn it, fucking Christ. Let's eat something. I so hate the traps in this game. Peasantly pitchfork. That doesn't sound that useful. I don't want the, your, your pitchfork thingy. Let's open this chest. It's locked so I can't open it. That's unfortunate. It is not, uh, it's peaceful and not attacking you at the moment. That's good. Yeah, let's eat something because we're running quite low on health. God damn it, I'm, I'm almost dead just because of the traps, are you kidding me? Azur Mob Bonnet, this cool sp smooth fungus is just seeping with rich magics. Oh fuck, I forgot that I shouldn't be eating uh, vegan, uh, cheese and stuff. Oh fuck me, that's terrible. Okay, should I be eating mushrooms then? Monster is trying to kill you. Well, not right now, it's not. Oh shit, I'm, I'm dying. I'm literally drawing, dying. I need more mana. Oh fuck, this is terrible. Can I use this though? Oh fuck me, that was a terrible, terrible run. Well, never mind. I'm just really bad at this game, apparently. Fuck, that was terrible. Yeah, sorry for this. This was not a great episode, but... Uh, I don't know, maybe next time we'll get something a bit better. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to get in touch with me, I have a Mastodon account as well as a Matrix room that you can join. Details of which you can find in the description of this video. And in the meantime, see you next time.